In this lesson, we're going to see how to install Kiwi. So you can simply come to Google search installing Kiwi. And this first link here takes you to the Kiwi website. So we can open this. So this page, this page gives the information for installing Kiwi using um, different options. You can install it in a virtual environment. You can install um, it using Anaconda, using Conda over here. And you can update your Kiwi. But what we want to do is install from scratch. And this page is going to be of a great help during the installation. If you face any problems that we don't face in this video, then this page would have the answers. Okay, to install Kiwi, it says we should type pip install. So over here, it says installing the Kiwi sta uh, stable release. Um, it gives these steps. First, it says ensure you have the latest pip wheel and virtual environment. And this is what you do to um, to ensure that. And then you create the virtual environment name Kiwi VENV. And then you activate your virtual environment. This is if you want to install into a virtual environment. You do this. Okay. But if you just want to install without using or without putting in the in a virtual environment, you start from this step two. It says install dependencies. There's another dependency here known as GS Streamer. And if ne if not needed, you can skip this one. But we're going to install them all. To install them, we need to go to our command prompt. I'm going to open my command prompt. I'll open it. You can just open your command prompt. This is it. It might look a bit small over here, but let's see how can we increase the size of this. Well, there's no way to increase the size of command prompt on Windows. Okay, so this is command prompt. What I'm going to do is copy this first line here. I'm going to copy this. simply going to copy this like this and then I'll do control C to copy or right click copy like this and then I'll paste it here right click paste over here and then enter so it's gonna try to um, fetch the packages and install them collecting so it's going to go through this and just bear with the um the font size here all you need to do is copy this and then paste it and hit enter in your command prompt and this is assuming you've already installed python we're using python 3 if you've already installed python you've installed with pip and we are using pip to install over here to install the kiwi packages the kiwi dependencies so the installation is complete over here. I have a warning that I should upgrade my pip version. No problem with this. I will just keep it as it is. I'm going to copy the next line. This one here for GStreamer. I'll highlight, right click, and then copy. I'll come over here and then right click, paste over here, hit enter. installing it is still installing once this is done we're going to install the angle back end as well this line is uh, it says for Python 3.5 you can also use the angle back end instead of glue so we can install this as well I'll copy this right click copy and then I'll paste it in here Hit enter and this was quick it's finished installing next we install Kiwi what we did was install the dependencies now we install the actual thing I'll copy this line right click copy and then paste it over here 
hit enter it's installing it's gonna take a while right so the installation is complete now we are done with our installation we can check if it's installed by doing kv and then dash dash version like this hit enter it says kv is not recognized so one other way for checking actually will be to open idle the best or the way to check is to open our idle and try to import i'm gonna open idle i'll just open by typing idle over here do not worry about the small font size when we start coding we're going to um, increase the font size okay so this is my ideal i'm simply going to do import kiwi like this and it's imported it successfully right you will not get this message i have this because i have some conflict in my setup but you shouldn't get it if kiwi package didn't exist we would receive a warning or an error actually telling us the package does not exist but this shows that it exists and we've installed it successfully so next we will go on and um, see how kiwi works and by the end of this course you should be able to build modern you know gui applications using kiwi and python okay so that's all there is and um again just bear with me with this um font size here there is no way to increase the font size in microsoft command prompt let's see uh, actually there is a way <laughs> okay so this is the font size um, yeah so next time we're using the command prompt we would be able to um, increase the font size here let's see okay if you choose a different typeface you can get bigger fonts okay right so there's a way to increase the font size so whenever we come back here we would have bigger fonts okay so just bear with me and then um, just to recap on the steps very simple steps we start off by installing the dependencies we install this just by copy paste and then copy and paste this line as well this is number two number three copy and paste this and then number four finally we copy and paste so this 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 one by one so that's all there is if you have any questions or meet any problems just send me a message i'll see you later